Hey YouTube world. So you guys, some of you guys may have watched my video ranting about track phone and why I will no longer do any business with them. Um, and I meant that. <laughs> I meant that. I had to go get a new phone because I decided to go to uh, go to Cricket because track phone phones do not work on Cricket service. So I had to get a whole new device. But I didn't want to spend the money that it would cost to be in store, and I didn't want to spend the money on a certain plan that I wasn't going to actually use to get the online perk. So I decided to go to my local Target and pick up the Moto G6 Forge. So the phone itself was going for $99, but altogether it was $106.99. So let's look at some of the features with this device. You have a 5.7 HD plus display, a 13 megapixel rear and a 5 megapixel front, 1.4 gigahertz quad processor, 4000 milliamp battery, fingerprint sensor and Wi-Fi calling. Now I've watched a few reviews on this device. Some of the uh, the reviews were over a year old um, and I noticed on the front of the box it had advertisement for a clear case now I didn't think that I would get it because I didn't see it being advertised on the box anymore so I just thought it was for the moment but it is a part of it you still get it it's just not advertised anymore and it's okay it does what it needs to do um, before so you can have something to temporarily protect your phone or at least cover the phone until you get a decent case so that is very nice that they threw this in there you don't even see this with a lot of your flagship devices so that's a really nice feature so let's look at the cell phone itself beautiful I love the way it looks love the way it feels has a nice weight to it but it's not so heavy where you have pinky fatigue if you're viewing videos um, it's pretty nice your power button is here on your right hand side as well as your volume rocker sim card is going to be on the opposite side your fingerprint scanner is right here you have your front facing flash so when you're doing your little selfies and things like that your microphone is at the bottom you do not have a C charger which would have been nice you have micro USB and your 3.5 headphone jack is at the top of the device so let's test the speaker out see how that sounds your speaker is coming out of your earpiece and you do have zoom in feature as you can see so you can zoom in So that's really nice. There is a water resistance coating on this device, so you don't have to really worry about it if you're outside in the rain and some water might get on one of your ports or anything like that. You don't have to worry about that. Some of the apps that came in came with the phone is Dolby Audio. I haven't really played around with most of these apps on here you, of course your Google stuff my cricket next radio visual voicemail um, sheets slides those are just some of the things that just came on the phone but it didn't have a lot of bloatware it just had stuff that you're going to more than likely use at some point so that's really nice that's nice to see very refreshing now I have gamed on this phone and in, in my opinion I think that it performs very well being that it is a budget device and we're gonna play a little bit of Call of Duty 
Just let me get it set up. Okay, so we're gonna make like a ghetto stand so we can like to show you guys this. If anybody wants to add me on Call of Duty Mobile, you can add me a one bird force instead of an E. I have a three at the end. That's one bird, the number one bird in force. Well, let's play a quick game. Still trying to get used to uh, how this um, the button still on this one. You got a guy. I've been playing on uh, Stylo Three. I'm so used to how that plays. We tied for the lead. But overall, I do like it. Gaming is not that. Close, fight I'm just going to stab you. We've taken the lead. I can get to you. Damn it. I couldn't get to you. Anyway. Anyway. I can't focus right now, so. Okay. So back to the phone. As you can see, the performance wasn't bad at all. Okay. 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is the fact that I got um, two things for my phone. I got the uh, spec case to replace the silicone case because I'm accident prone. I'm more likely to drop my phone and crack the screen on it and things like that after the warranty is up. So um, I decided to pick up the spec case and I bought that off of Amazon for $7.48 and I got the I got a three pack screen protector off of Amazon as well for six dollars and some change altogether it was about fourteen dollars that I spent so we're gonna put that on we're gonna put the uh, spec case on first now it says that it is drop tested meets or exceeds military standards dual layer impact protection bezel screen protection so it has a lifted edge wireless charging compatible now I don't know if the G6 Forge can can wireless charge I didn't, it didn't say anything about that I'm pretty sure it would mention that I doubt it maybe other versions of this device does that but not that I know of with the G6 Forge. Okay, so here's the case. It's hard. Still, you know, it's different from what I normally go for because I usually go for like the knockoff outer box cases the ones that add so much weight to your device but I didn't want to cover up this nice back so yeah device on this case on I'm saying, I mean. and it was easy you just snap it on and it looks good it looks good has nice bulk to it Let's see if that edge is lifted it's lifted but not really enough in my opinion still kind of flush with the screen Let's put on a, a screen protector. Put you guys down again. It looks good. Comes with a wipe so you can wipe off your screen. The reason why I'm not picking up the phone to show you guys that is because I need both of my hands to do this to install the screen protector. So we're going to wipe it down. Wipe me down. And then you take your dry cloth to it and then you wipe off of the excess moisture
And right now, I am installing the screen protector. All right, so I I have the case now installed as well as the screen protector. Now, one thing I'll say I suck at, and it's such a pet peeve of mine, but I get used to it after a while, is the fact that I can never put the screen protector on right without all these air bubbles still on it. So, I don't know. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Leave some pointers below. So, what's my thoughts on this phone so far? After playing around with it, playing a few games on it, listening to music on it, what do I think about this device? I think that for $99, it's a really good deal. You're getting a true bang for your buck. It is awesome. I love it. Um, I thought that it would be a weird transition because for the most part, I don't like devices that are slightly thin but long at the same time. I'm kind of over that trend. However, this device was not bothersome at all. I like it. Um, they do have... Um, this uh, it's called attentive attentive display so your camera can detect when your face is looking directly at your screen and it will stay on longer even if you're not doing anything and when you stop looking at the camera or the camera can't detect you it will time out so that's really cool uh, we didn't take a picture yet that's something we need to take a picture of we need to take a picture of Goku he's always the go-to man Okay, let's take a picture of Goku. And with Flash. Looks great, looks good. It looks good both ways. It doesn't look blurred or distorted in any kind of way. If anything, it brings life to the colors a little bit more. So who would I recommend this device for? I would recommend this for anyone who can appreciate the stock Android look. I would recommend this uh, for people who want kind of a flagship phone, but you don't want to spend flagship money. Um, because for $99, you can't beat this device. It's really nice. I mean, let's be honest. You have your Samsung A-Series, but to get a decent Samsung A-Series, you're going to be spending, you know, damn near 200 bucks if not more, to get their decent versions of it because their A10s, their A20s, even their A30s are, are kind of crappy uh, for their price tag. So, yeah, for that same, for the same amount of money, um, I could have gotten the, the Samsung A10. The A10 was also going for $99 in Target. But this was better. You get a bang for your buck. You get the water resistant coating. You get the, the 4000 milliamp battery. Uh, you can game on this device. You have a loud speaker. I've tested out the A10, the A20, the A30. 
as well as the A70, and the speakers are so-so. They're really not that good. They are very subpar for the money that you're spending on those kind of devices. So I would recommend picking up the Motor Motorola G6 Forge. And if you like this video, make sure to thumbs it up, and we're out. By the way, the plan that I'm getting on Cricut is the $30 a month plan. I don't need a lot of data or anything like that. And, you know, I'm always trying to save a coin. So it's the $30 a month plan. There is no rollover data, unlike track phone and things like that. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.